kid. All she's talking about is fishing. What do you want to catch, kid? I let her sleep in today, so. I let her sleep in. She's feeling a lot better. This is day number three. Yesterday was great. We got cobia and some snapper in the boat. We're going back to Mexico Beach. Um, crew has expanded. So for sure, going to catch more fish today. And we're pumped up. Hopefully we'll try and get an amberjack to bite. Maybe on, on that deep rig, on that wreck. We'll see what happens. There was a bunch out there yesterday. shaft so it's easy to get beat up out there Which one bench shaft? Shaft. I think that cobia or maybe I think that cobia bent my bent my shaft yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. well hopefully the uh the weather's gonna be as good as it was yesterday it was pretty good and we, your bands you retied them I retied all my bands yeah. I woke up real early got everything. Probably got more than we need. So we'll see how they're on the water. There you go. Just like that. Ready? And just fall back. And we are back underwater. This is my wife Kendall. Okay. Cool, right? Yeah. So this is her first time diving in salt water so we were on our way out to hit some nice wrecks and on the way out we found a spot in about 20 feet of water where there was some structure so I thought you know what maybe we can go down there and see if there's any cool corals or maybe even a fish to shoot um, so it was a fun experience for her and I'm glad that they put out these uh, pilings we're good you know we'll see you on the flip side Okay, now this is the spot <laughs> that I had been going to, turning on my shark shield, kind of getting my gear set up here, getting loaded. That's always the first thing I do is get your gun loaded because you never know when something's going to swim by, a kingfish or I mean even a mahi or anything. Uh, Lynn could swing by. Be so, biggest. like to be ready. I'm swimming over to that um, dive dive line, and then fast forward down the descent. And as usual, and on this wreck, you've seen this one before. Um, there's a lot of AJs on it, lots of life. It was a a fun wreck to be at. Lots of little bait fish everywhere. I was hoping to see a grouper on this dive, which I ended up seeing. You'll see him here later in the video. Um, but there is a good bit of fish here. But I'm specifically hunting for red snapper. It is red snapper season. It is coming up to the end of the season here. And I am trying to get my limit. So I'm going to come down here to the sand. I like to do my little sand trick here. I like to bring in the attention. And some fish start to swim up here. Scanning the horizon. See if I can bring in anything. And one guy comes up, see what's going on. And he takes a little bit of line. Snapper fight really hard. It's always fun to shoot these guys. You see underneath there? See that grouper? Yeah. He's later. So, I like to pin that fish down to the ground if it's a smaller fish. If, or a bigger one if you can. Pin him down to the sand so he can't swim any further. And then secure him. Brain him as fast as you can and then bleed them out a little bit and then get this guy on the stringer. Once I got them brained, I'll float up off the bottom a little bit just to conserve my air.
here we go this is that grouper this is a good example of how things don't always go the way you want them to I would have sworn that would have went in and he rolled I didn't get a perfect shot he rolled and it it just it hit him and it just he rolled it off rolled off his back like it was nothing <laughs> so you win some you lose some you know that's how they, that's why they call it fishing and not catching but keep looking around see if I can find I was looking around for that grouper and I, I couldn't find him the rest of this dive I am going to continue looking around, scouting for more fish here. And right here I spot a mammoth dinosaur looking red snapper. I'm going to zoom in here and look at this guy. He thinks I can't get him. Wham! <laughs> he bent my spear right there. He went. I, I probably could have taken a better shot. This is him. That guy, three feet long. That is my personal best red snapper right here. And you probably shouldn't crawl in the wreck, but I was crawling in after this guy for sure. I've only dreamt about shooting a snapper this big. I mean, this is a personal best for me. And I knew from the moment that I saw this fish swimming underwater, uh, you could see how the, the lips and the forehead like protrude more than normal. Like it just, it looks like a dinosaur fish like that is no juvenile snapper right there you can tell like just typically on a bigger fish they'll develop this bump on their forehead specifically hogfish do um, red snapper do you can just tell this is a big fish he ended up breaking my knife here <laughs> but I had to get him brained finally got it done and then I am going to get him on the stringer. You know, people have these uh, stringers with the, the points on them. I think I'm going to file this one down. So it'll be a little bit easier to get him on there. But I got him on there. You can tell my shaft is broken or uh, bent. But you still lock it in the gun so it's not going to dangle down. And then get back to the boat. Hey, get that other spear gun ready for me. Please. I am so stoked at this point in time. I can't wait to just show them the size of this fish I just shot. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching my video. Go ahead and smash that like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And also subscribe so I can show you more videos. I've got a couple other videos that I'm about to release here. We went out to some oil rigs, and you're going to want to see what we shot out there. It is going to be epic. So until next time, I will see you later. cleaned a bunch of fish today. We got bags and bags and bags of snapper. So yeah, label it. Red snapper. <laughs> we got Seven, a lot to put away. One, two. Into the freezer. It's a nice size filet. Yeah, we got some nice filets here. Some of these are Keep getting bigger and bigger. Okay. I'd like to take some of the slime off of it. And then some of them I'll leave whole, some of them I'll cut. This one I'm gonna cut. I'll cut the bones out of it. Hey yo! Hey! Hey! Dude, I checked out those spears. Yeah. 
Those are nice spears. They'll work, won't they? Yeah. I plugged it in the other gun, it'll work. That shop was nice, dude. That yeah. was so nice of you to go pick those yeah, up. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't far from the office either, so it wasn't a big deal. That was cool. Yeah. How, did you know about that shop? I had no idea. <laughs> I called a couple of places and they were like, oh, you need to call this place. Oh, yeah. There's a good chance if anyone's going to have it, they are. So I was yeah. like, okay. So it's, uh, it's weird how like some places they don't have anything like that. This was strictly like spear fishing, like strictly. Yeah. yeah. That was it. Like, he had guns everywhere. Like, all like he knew what he was talking about. Oh, yeah, he knew exactly what he was talking about. Yeah. yeah. He's telling you to practice. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, get better. Yeah. You just need to get better. I mean, ideally, yeah, I do. You know. It's just fun with time. Imagine if Luke was time. getting better. That's kind of scary to think of a Luke that's better than what he is now. Yeah. It's just like accuracy. Accuracy with the yeah. shots. Yeah. I know. Obviously, Luke is a beast. I when it comes to spearfishing. <laughs> I, I wish I had more time to, you know. Yeah, you showed me. Still did pretty good. Yeah. Cost some spears. Anytime you, you come up with fish, or like anytime you go down, it's almost guaranteed to come up. Right. With fish. He's got something every time. 